Hello and welcome back to Disabled and Prepping. And today, this is what I got put back for preps. Just getting some stuff around the apartment vacuum sealed and put away for a little bit later. Uh, or whenever I need them, but I want them to stay good just in case. So I have eight vacuum sealed pouches like this of 20 peppermints. Um, besides being a morale booster and it also helps with my stomach so um, peppermint is known to help with stomach issues um, like an upset stomach things like that this works better for me than like those roll aids or other things like that so these are packaged in sets of 20 and these are the soft uh sweet striped um peppermints so and they fit all in there and the lid actually fits on so oh, okay of course it's not going to do that while i'm on video but anyways it does and then i vacuum sealed some um wipes from the dollar tree um that i had that i found sitting around or this from dollar general so one of the two um i don't remember but it was sitting in the basket and that's some of the stuff that i have to vacuum seal so I did that. And then I have some cleaning towelettes. There's three of them in there. I'll mark that I have three. Um, I managed to put it all together. Um, so I'll just snip uh, or cut the top of it for what I need. These are two rolls of the bands that they use for taking blood. Um, but I use them to open containers and things like jars and things. And I have several of them out already, so um, they just give me a lot of extra grip, and I can really wrap it around there tight, so then I can just open it up. So the pressure of it being wrapped also helps with getting the jar open as well. So I have two of those that are rolled up still. One that was um, unrolled, and I just flattened it out and reused um, a little plastic piece that um, I believe one of the oxygen absorbers came out i just squeezed it the air out as much because it didn't vacuum seal obviously it's not the vacuum seal stuff but i just reused it squeezed out enough air which is fine this way the air is not getting to the rubber part of the i don't know if it's rubber or latex or what it is but i didn't want the the air or whatever to get to it and cause it to get eventually brittle or whatever and then i had some gloves um, these are non-sterile, obviously, um, but they're one pair. I put them in there. I'll write one pair on there and probably the word non-sterile, but it's pretty obvious seeing that I vacuum packed it that it's not going to be sterile because I don't have any, um, way to sterilize them or don't know how to sterilize them at home. Anyways, so <laughs> suddenly started thinking about the possibility anyways uh that's what i have um right now and um these are going to be put away for later and i had them for a few months now and i just decided to vacuum seal them because um they're not my absolute favorite um but which is good because then i don't eat them and i can put them away for later but uh oh, it's not gonna go right now Anyway, so um, that way I can have some for later if I need to for either a morale boost or I'm going to have to rearrange that. Anyways, um, a morale boost or uh, for my stomach and I can get them out in groups of 20. So because each one of those packages have 20 in them. And um, for my efforts of doing that, there was one extra. So I get to have that later tonight. Um, after my medication for t tonight. So, yep, that's what I'm putting away for today. Um, okay, I've said um plenty of times. So, all right, everybody, have a wonderful day. May God bless each and every one of you to overflowing. And may he keep each and every one of you, your friends and family, safe. Bye for now.